too. You guys got this. Find that. You. You're scared. You're scared. You're scared. Hello. 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 Hello in about a week. It's dropping October 14th. You can pre-save it on Spotify. It is a Halloween themed song. She is so excited about it and today we are filming the music video for her new song <laughs> and we've got some ideas. First things first, you can pre-save the song if you want to hear it right when it drops at midnight. You're, the first place you're going to be able to hear it is on Spotify. I'll have a link down below that you can like pre-save it. I don't exactly know how this works. I don't know the lingo as much. This is something that she works out with her uncle who like produces the music. I don't know. She's the artist. All I'm in charge of is pulling together the music video. That's my role in this. And that's what we're doing today. So the kids are all at school. I just looked up a bunch of stuff about cameras. You would think that I would know all the stuff already being that I do this for a living, but I just watched about four videos that are strictly about how to film music videos. And I feel like I learned a lot from them. I want to make this music video the best on the entire internet. That is a very high standard to be held to. Maybe not that, but I feel like everything has to be a step up. Like we always have to go a step in a better direction. And although her last music video, her first music video was so cute, this has to be next level, okay? No pressure, Jess. So I have a collection of cameras that I have accumulated over the last 13 years of being on YouTube. Most of these I don't use, okay? I have big fancy cameras. I just don't use them. I usually use my G7X Mark II. I filmed most of the scenes from Lilia's last music video with my G7X Mark II. So it's not a terrible camera, but I need to upgrade my equipment. While I figure this out, Lilia and I and a bunch of her dance friends and a bunch of dance moms all got together last night and tried to figure out what the storyline of this music video is going to be. So the song is called, I don't know if I've said it on here yet, the song is called Boogie Monster. And it's a Halloween spooky song, right? So you want like a spooky storyline to go with it. So we have a few things in mind. But long story short, we need a haunted mansion to film in. Now, considering I just decided about 12 hours ago that we were gonna pull this off today, we don't exactly have a haunted mansion to film in, and it's looking like our best option is going to be to turn our house into a haunted mansion <laughs> in a matter of six hours. We can totally do this. I've pulled off crazier things, <laughs> but this cute little living room has got to go. Mango, you're down, right? Mango, you're down? We got this, right? He doesn't seem confident in my work. Sadie, what about you? <laughs> See, she gets me. I got this off of Amazon. I actually got it for our Halloween party, but it's gonna come in handy. Yeah, it's already going. Did you start it yet? No. Oh. Ready? Oh, <laughs> okay. Look at this. This girl makes thick fall off of ice. Okay, I, this is my research right here, my researcher. We're looking up our ideas right now. We're Googling everyone's successful music videos and we're figuring out why they're successful and we're trying to pick up tips. I'm the director and cameraman. I've got my creative um, director over here. She's helped me with the ideas. This is my engineer and my, um, what's it called people? Like behind the scenes. He makes everything happen. Prop man. Stage crew, stage crew, he's like the backup. He actually makes everything I, work. I'm transport, I'm setup, I'm <laughs> electronics, I'm tech. I'm... We all have multiple uh, jobs here. And then of course the talent doesn't get here until you know
All right, we officially have some execution beginning. I'm gonna show you guys what, how we're planning out what we're doing in order to keep this as organized as possible. This is actually brilliant. We dragged the song into Final Cut Pro, which is what I used to edit throughout this song, which you guys don't get to hear quite yet, but I put a text overlay of what we're going to have happen at what parts of the song. That way we don't miss anything when we're filming it tonight. I also have a list going of things that we need to pick up from the store, content idea angles, like when they're in costume versus not in costume, this will make more sense later, but basically the idea is that Lily and her friends are gonna walk into an abandoned house and when they get there, they are greeted with themselves, like, and they're gonna be evil, they're gonna be monsters, they're going to be in different costumes and then they're like looking, anyway, that's the general idea. So there's gonna be kind of two storylines going. It's gonna be like the girls in the house scared, looking for Lilia who ran off into the abandoned house. And then the other storyline of the monsters just living, living up in the house, living their best life. It's like the house is gonna be spooky, but the house is also going to be completely brought to life and colorful and it's just, I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited, I hope this comes together. I hope that the expectations that I'm seeing in my head, I hope we can actually execute it like this. Step number one is pretty much done. Pretty much have the storyline here. We've got all of our ideas. I've got a script written up that the girls are going to read. And then now we have to start decorating the house. We gotta take all this cutesy stuff down, even my little cute pillows and stuff. Like we need to make this look like an abandoned house. That looks great. I don't know, we're getting there. We need a lot more spider web. We need a lot more, this is perfect. We're gonna set the table. The creepy version of themselves are going to be having a feast at this table, so we need to set this up. We have about two hours until they're out of school, and I told all of her friends to get here around six o'clock. So six o'clock is when we're gonna officially start filming, which means we have about five hours and 20 minutes to get this very lived-in house looking abandoned. <laughs> We are starting our journey off at the thrift store. We <laughs> scared the came glass in here. <laughs> you know? We came to Goodwill and we are stocking up on some of the accessories for the video. We've props. got props, props, there we go, I like it. That's the word. We've got plates, we've got cups, we've got all kinds of things that we can use here. Basically, we need anything that looks antique, old. Oh, actually oh, these. These on the table. <gasps> this the is it. This is the candle they can hold. Look at this, too. Okay, we need candles for them to hold for the props. Hey, dude, do you wanna be in our music video? <laughs> Ooh, like that. <laughs> You're freaking me out, dude. <laughs> we love that it's dusty and crusty. It's very abandoned vibes. We need it. The people that, that left this house 150 years ago took all the stuff that they wanted. YouTubers. These weird YouTubers in this house. I Maybe mean, we can like these kinds of candles. Maybe not. Oh, it's fake. It's fake. We need fake. We need fake. Okay, grab them all. You guys, you're, you're so cool. You. So it's like we need the plate. gonna be so cute for your Halloween party. You break it, you buy it. This was probably the best idea that we ever had was going to the thrift store because we got so much stuff. We've got costumes for them to change into. We've got kitchenware, we've got candles. I feel like we still hardly made a dent into what we need though. We got the star of the show. Girl, I have something to tell you. I didn't go to Spirit without you. <laughs> she really wanted to go shopping. Not really, I've got pieces to costumes. We just went to the thrift store to find old looking stuff because we're gonna turn our house into an abandoned house. And we're running a little behind schedule as per usual, but that's okay. So we're gonna go to Spirit, we're gonna get you guys costumes, rest of your stuff, you can help me pick it out. And then, uh, yeah, let me know all of your ideas. Are you excited, dude? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> I don't think you understand the level that we're at right now. Like. When you see this place come to life, you're gonna actually trip. All right, last stop. We saved the best for last here. We have to go fast though. We have a couple more spooky things that we need to get here and then we need to get back home and start decorating the house ASAP. Yes? Oh my golly. We need that. How do we take that home? We need, we need to just bring this entire thing back to our house. I, I talk, we talked about that, right? So basically, in order to get this done, to have that low look to the fog machine, instead of just a classic fog machine, making it all foggy, we found this hack. Shout out to Macy Blackwell on Instagram for this tip. She showed on there, hopefully it works, but she showed on there how to make low lying fog. So instead of the fog kind of making the whole room foggy, it's just going to be like on the floor. That's, that's the goal. So in order to do that, you need an ice chest, which we've got here. You need to drill holes into the ice chest, and then you have these
those little attachments. So these these wires, the wood, ice, and then the fog machine. We'll kind of show you guys how this unravels as he does this. As for the rest of us, we're going to officially start the abandoned transformation update. We've got things going in here. Not really going as planned, but you know, that's okay. We've got the couch moved into the kitchen. We're testing out the contraption. And it's, it's working better than, than what it did without it, but it's still not good enough, I don't think. <sighs> What does it need? It dry ice. Dry ice? <laughs> to be probably the most efficient because is. dry ice is a yeah. scary effing cold. So he drove the holes too little. <laughs> right now it's not going through the ice. No, he, he put he the metal, he followed everything yeah. correctly, just not. Placed the holes wrong. You did good. You executed it well. Okay. Try it out? Yeah. Yeah, try it out. Okay, so the issue that we're having is it's not cold enough and we need the smoke to go through the ice. So we got rid of the netting. It looks like the house is on fire. This isn't it. This isn't the spooky look I was going for. Okay, get her done. Okay, I'm excited. All right, let's see. <laughs> it's foggy. Here we go. Uh oh. Moment of truth. It's so low, it's not even coming out. She's a little backed up here. All right, we need the talent. Where's our talent? One. Perfect, she's ready to go. We've got one. Okay, one talent, two talent, three talent. We're missing the main. Where's she at? Where is she? She's on Lilia's dance friends, by the way. Girls, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. These are our dancers. Those are her dance friends. We've got Adriana, Kinsley. <laughs> and then of course Lilia. So they're gonna be like the foursome in her skit. These are some of her best friends. And what they're gonna do is I kind of explained what they're doing early, but part of the part of the scene, they're gonna do four eight counts of a hip hop dance. And what better person to help us with this than the owners of the dance studio? <laughs> so they're here also. You got Evie's in it. Yeah, Evie, you got this. This is your big debut. Before we officially get started on this, which we're actually not quite ready yet, but I'm gonna sh actually show the girls, they get a sneak peek of the song to hear for the first time. Okay, ready? So you have to envision yourself. Envision what you're gonna be doing, okay? Okay, you guys don't get to hear it quite yet, so I'm gonna be muting this portion of the video, but this is it. changing room here not our changing room but our our costume room this is where all the costumes ended up because we have everything decorated here we just filmed the very first scene and now we're moving on to the next scene which is going to be trick-or-treating and we're actually doing that outside i'm not really sure what the lighting situation is going to be we're just kind of taking it one step at a time we're on scene number two we're outside we're trying to we're trying to get the fog machine working. We've got our crew back here. Landon is the most helpful boy, I swear. He knows everything too, he's so smart. He's helping us get this fog machine working. We want like fog in the background. I think, I actually don't really know what we were going for. How are you gonna see though? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Mom, if you put it behind them, then the fog be so And then they go behind the fog and then they come out of the fog. Like that would be cool. That's what I want, but I don't know if it's working. Okay, girls, lines, lines, lines. Okay, ready, five. Six, seven. <laughs> okay, do you remember our lines? You're scared, you're scared, you're scared. Close the door, close the door, close the door. You're scared. And you're looking so excited. Okay, wait a minute. This is actually really cool. Now run. <laughs> There's the boogie monster. <laughs> they died for real. So we just died. All right, we've officially made our transformation. It is, you guys, it is 12.38. 
Yeah, we're cool looks to cup. We're got all oh I got. It. We're running off of sugar. They've got some soda. They've got cranberry juice. We're filling up their blood-filled glasses. <laughs> filming at home. Day two of filming. So I didn't really update on the last. I didn't really update on the last hours of the last. What am I saying? I haven't updated yet. We ended up filming until two in the morning the other day and we got as many shots as we can. So there's actually a lot more that needed to be filmed but we did our best. And so today we're planning on filming most of the rest of it. There's like one other scene that we might have to film on another day. All of these scenes are pretty much just gonna be Lilia and then I'm gonna plug Addie in here and there because she fell asleep on the first day of filming. She fell asleep long before we could get the majority of the scenes filmed. So I'm gonna have to add her in. So if you notice that she's like not in the scenes with the other girls when the music video comes out, now you know why. It's because she fell asleep, but that's okay. We're gonna add her in here and there. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this yet. Again, I'm just kind of throwing this together. It's gonna be something. So I have a magical monster. She's so excited to be a part of this today and she really wants to wear one of these wigs. So, is that the wig you're gonna wear? <laughs> and then we've got our true boogie monster over here, Pilly. We've got our true boogie monster over here. I'm gonna do some cool looks on you, okay, Addy? Okay, just don't make it ugly. Okay, it won't make it ugly. Let me see. Let me see. Cute so far? Cute so far. Kinda cute. Kinda cute, still. Cute. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna find that. You. you like it? Now smile. Oh! You like it? You wanna do your wig? I could do um pigtails. Oh. You like it? Get this. That is cute. It's so heavy. Oh my god. Yes, please, that would be great. Fire, upstairs, spot there, detector. detector. All right, Pilly, high five. You are incredible. That's a wrap. I think we have officially finished the filming and now all the rest is 100% on me and getting it edited together. I hope we can get something yeah, I don't know, we'll see how it comes together. The lighting was a huge issue because filming in low lighting is a problem, but it's like a haunted house. So like obviously they're, anyway. Release yourself, you're free. Yeah, and at last I see the light. And it's like the fog has lifted. Are we done with this? We're done in the trap now. Funny story, this is making a debut as like, I, I don't know, I guess like we're thinking like the family that used to live in this haunted mansion. So we took one of our old Halloween pictures and I turned it like into the sepia color and then we just printed it out on a regular piece of paper and I found this frame at the thrift store. I think it was $4 and we replaced like the rose that was in it and put this in it instead for like that vintage look through some spider web on it. I kind of want to keep it. It's kind of like a staple in here. On another note, <laughs> this is what the situation is in here. This is where the couch goes. Luckily it fits there perfectly. <laughs> so anytime we need to do anything in here, I guess we know it fits there. We did set the fire alarm off tonight twice and our home security dispatch people had to call us and they were like, are you okay? Is everything okay? What's going on there? But yeah, we're good. We had them disable it for an hour and I was like we should be done in the next hour so I just told them we had a fog machine running in the house and they were like no problem we can disable it for the next hour that way it doesn't like alert 
our system again and automatically call the fire department. So we got that handled and we're now blowing all the candles out, putting everything out. So we're gonna clean up in here and call it a day. I have a lot of editing to do. I cannot wait for you guys to see this. Make sure you stay tuned. This music video is going to drop on October 14th. Set your calendar. You can also pre-save Lilia's song. It's called Boogie Monster on Spotify. I'll put the link to her song. I think I'll have it down in the description. You can click that, you can pre-save it and then you can listen to it. As soon as it drops at midnight, the music video will come out later in the day. It's not gonna come out midnight. So that's the first place that you could hear it is on Spotify. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys.